welcome. We have a question under linear transformation which make use of matrices. So if M is a matrix, 2 by 2 matrix, 5, minus 5, minus 3, 2, 1, we have to find under the M, which is the matrix 2 by 2, the image of minus 3 and 4, then the point whose image is also 0, 1, minus 1. So we know that to find the image under the, the matrix, we are going to have, let's say, the image of our negative 3, 4, and the M will be given by, don't forget the image is equals to the matrix times the point of translation. So whatever point that is translating the matrix to become the image. So now we are going to use the translator. So the image of this. So this is the, the translator point which is translating our matrix. So directly, we are only going to have the I, which is the image, equals to the minus 5, minus 3, 2, 1, multiplied by minus 3 and 4. And this is multiplication of what? 2 by 2 by what? 2 by 1. We know this, multiply this, plus this times this. So directly, 3 times uh, negative, negative 3, negative 5 will give us positive 15 plus 2 times uh, 2 times 4 that will be 8 then this will also multiply this minus 3, minus 3 if you multiply, you get 9 then 1 times 4 will be 4 so this will give us, if you add you get 23 if you add you get 13. So therefore, the image of minus 3, 4 under M is going to be given by 23 and what? 13. So that is the image we are looking for. Then, in the same vein, we have to find the point whose image is this. It means already the image is known, just like this image. The image starts, then the matrix multiplied by the point, which is translating the matrix. So we can see that we can let x, y be the point. So if that is the case, what are we going to do? The image, I said the point whose image. So the image begin, which is going to be 0, negative 1 equals to the matrix minus 5, minus 3, 2, 1. Then multiply by the translator, the point that is translating the matrix, just from the same explanation we have in the example 1. So from here, what do we do? We can see that if you multiply this, we can multiply just like we did here, and translate that into a simultaneous equation and solve it simultaneously and get our answer. Or we can also uh, solve it the way we are solving it as metrics. We need x, y. So we divide by this. And you know if we divide this side by the same metric, it will cancel. When it come here, it will be dividing, let's say, our image by, let me use a our image by this matrix. And this matrix can also be A times, you know, this and the indices is the same as this. So what do you see as this? This is the image, uh, the inverse. This is the inverse of the matrix. So instead of dividing both sides by the matrix, we only find the inverse of the given matrix. And how do we find the inverse of this? We know to find the inverse of, of M, we are going to first of all find the determinant. How do we find the determinant? 
we multiply. So we multiply this, that will be negative 1, negative 5 times what? 1. Then we subtract the other diagonal, the multiplication of that. That will be minus 3 times 2. So that will be minus 5 minus negative 6. So minus 5 plus 6 give us 1. So our determinant in this case is going to be 1. Then we are going to have 1 divided by okay, negative 5 plus 6. Let me take it like that. As 1 over the determinant. Then we multiply that by the adjoint of the matrix. When we mean the adjoint, we swap the position of the leading diagonal. Then we negate the other diagonal. So this becomes 1 minus 5. We negate this. It becomes positive. If we negate this, it becomes negative 2. So in this case, the inverse will be 1 divided by 1. It will still be 1. So we still have 1, 3, minus 2, minus 5 as the inverse. And this inverse is coming all the way here to multiply this. You remember? The A over M is the same as A times M inverse. Do we get it? So the inverse is multiplying. So therefore, our x, y, which is standing on its own, will become 1, 3, negative 2, negative 5, multiplied by 0, negative 1. And you know how we multiply it? 1 times 0, that will be 0, plus negative 2 times negative 1, that will be 2. 3 times 0, 0. Negative 5 times negative uh, 1 will be 5. So therefore, our x, y, okay, let me just write it. This is going to be 2 and what? 5. So therefore, the point is going to be 2, 5. This is the point that translated this to give us this as the image. I believe you get a concept right from the first example down to this one. The, we borrow in the inverse of a matrix. That's what we did here. First of all, it is 1 over the determinant times the adjoint of the matrix. So the determinant is the leading diagonal multiplied minus the other diagonal. And I believe you'll be able to arrive at this. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and comment. Bye-bye.